Baron Stevens here, and this month's topic is on reed guards. When I'm out doing clinics, or a lot of times when I'm teaching students, I see them still using the soft plastic reed holders that come in the, the reed boxes when we buy them. The problem with these is they're designed for shipping, and if you look at them, like this is the Van Doren one here, it's a soft, flexible plastic. And also a lot of times, like in this Rico one, has little tabs in there um, that makes it really easy to break the reeds if you stuff them in there. So what I recommend is using these hard plastic reed holders. And you can get the ones that hold two or the ones that hold four. Um, but anyway, these don't flex, and they have a nice little tip thing here that uh, holds the tip of the reed flat and helps it to keep from warping as bad. Um, why this is so important, why I stress this so much, especially in climates like Utah where it is so dry, reeds want to warp easily because they, they prefer a humid environment. Um, also, it's going to save you a ton of money. I, I believe just one reed holder will save you enough money to pay for itself within one box of reeds. Uh, another trick I use is to use a plastic bag. Now, if you notice, this is a zippered bag, and you, if you put your reeds in this, in the reed guard, you do not want to zip it closed, because if you do, you have a nifty little science experiment with green fuzzy things going all over. So all you need to really do is wrap it up in the plastic, and this allows the reeds to dry more slowly and evenly, and keeps them from warping as badly. Um, in my next installment, I'll talk a little more about uh, tonguing, because this is one of the things I find many saxophone clarinet players struggle with to get a nice clean sound without all the extra noise. So I'll cover that next time, and if you have any questions, feel free to email me and ask them. Thank you.